What's up, y'all? It is February 19th, 2019. And y'all, um, I'm pretty sure every Cowboy fan knows this already. I just want to give my thoughts on it. Terrence Williams, the Cowboys, will not pick up Terrence Williams' option. He will become a free agent. Good riddance. You guys... We kept Terrence Williams for far too long. I think after uh, 2015 was his best year. He had like 800 some yards. After 2016, I feel like after the 2016 season, we should have just got rid of his ass. You know, I just, I don't know. He, he just, he had many opportunities to prove that he was, you know, a legit number two. You know, he had many opportunities to, like, you know, ease the load on on Dak Prescott. You know, he had plenty of opportunities to do that, and he just never took it. And then don't even get me started on what happened last season when he's just running around, driving drunk and shit, being a fucking idiot. <sighs> to be quite honest, I'm surprised he's still in the league. You know, some some team is going to give him a contract, you know, some desperate team out there who just needs receivers. They're going to they're going to give him a fucking one year deal. But I mean, I I lost all respect for Terrence Williams. Number one, he didn't really step up when he was called upon. And number two, his decisions off the field like, dude, man, like, really? Like, come on, man. Like, so that his, his production on the field his idiotic decisions off the field. I've just lost all respect for him. I can't even look at him straight. Like, he just, he fucking disgusts me. So I'm glad the Cowboys are doing the smart thing and not picking up his damn option. That was the one of the best decisions we can make this offseason. We're going to save some money. We're going to save some, uh, some cap room. We're going to have more cap room getting rid of his fucking ass. You know, and but... You know, the thing is, Cole Beasley has outshined Terrence Williams in big moments. The bigger the moment, the better Cole Beasley gets. Terrence Williams always shrinks. He always shrinks in the moment. I can't stand that about him. He never, <clears throat> he never like had this like, the, the only play I ever remember Terrence Williams doing. He had one good game against the Chiefs back in the 2017 season, and that fucking Michael Jackson, um, that, that catch on the sideline, where he was just like, ooh, the, the, you know, the dance or whatever, look it, look it up, where, like, Michael, Michael Jackson is on, like, his, like, you know, on his feet or something, that's the only thing I remember from Terrence Williams' career, he's never really had the catch He's never really had the play. He's made so many bonehead decisions on the field. Remember that shit back in 2016 when the motherfucker could have, um, what, ran out of bounds and he didn't and we lost to the Giants? Like, that year we went 13-3 and and we got swept by the Giants that year. I will never fucking forget that. I fucking hate them fucking Giants. And we could have beat them both times. First time we should have beat their ass. But Terrence Williams doesn't know how to run out of fucking bounds. So I'm glad he's gone. I'm glad we're not going to pick his ass back up. Good luck to you, motherfucker. I hope some team picks you up. If they do, they're going to be desperate as hell. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if he doesn't get signed into the season. Like, I, I, I won't be surprised if no one picks him up this year. Because if no one is going to pick up Dez, why the fuck would you pick up Terrence Williams? Because that... <sighs> Dumb ass motherfucker. Like, oh, god damn. But you know what? I'm living, you know, I'm just so upset because the cow, he overstayed his welcome. The cowboy should have got rid of him a long fucking time ago. He should have been gone. But you know what? The cowboys finally pulled the trigger on that motherfucker. He's gone. He's out of here. He's done. Good riddance. All right, you guys. Peace.